nowadays when your check engine light kicks on you can't even remote start your car so I went with this really cheap $16 um, code scanner and clearer it says um, from Amazon link will be in the description below if I have any problems with it I'll also put down there that I returned it normally my videos go up a couple months after I've already uh, made this video but uh sometimes you just get a code because it's too cold of a day and your car just had a problem sometimes that code goes away sometimes it doesn't sometimes you can clear it and it never comes back emission codes sometimes you just get really bad gas and uh it sends off a code i actually have a code that is telling me my thermostat is bad which um um, eventually he overheats your car so I'm gonna see if I can clear it one more time because we had like a negative seven degree the other day and maybe it just messed with it clear it so she can remote start her car for these a uh, couple cold days and then um, I'll get to fixing it but uh whoo if it's an evap code or something normally you can clear them they'll stay away for a while you get your remote start back in cars that disable that but this is the cheapest one I found online I know you can get that little adapter for your phone, but her car, for some reason, will not let me scan it with my phone. My car will, not hers. That's all that's in the box. Let's check it out. I got a discount code or something. Now this doesn't do 96 or older cars. It's gotta be 96 or newer, which most people have that new car. That looks like the same manual, but in a different language. These two are the same. This one's a different language. Pretty simple stuff. Um, hers is a push-button car to start, not a key in the ignition. So um, I'll have to show you guys that. This doesn't do ABS, which... Uh, Sometimes ABS sensors go out, and that'll throw a code. Nice little bag. It's definitely lightweight. It could go in your glove box, no problem at all. The cord looks to be about three, four feet. I'd say it's three foot. I don't know why I just said it could be four. Uh, yeah, it's three foot. It feels on the chintzy side. Seems kind of... Uh, I guess it won't harden up if it's out in your car in the winter. That's the port you're going to be trying to find. Some vehicles, very rarely, are under the hood. Most likely, it's down by where your um, emergency brake cable would be. Or brake cable. Brake pedal would be. I think a lot of cars are going to electronic ones now. But uh, normally, it's underneath down by where your feet go. And it won't be red. It may have a cover on it or something. Up, down, definitely have phys physical, physical buttons. Can you guys hear that? When I push that top one in, oh, it's because this thing's not quite sticky. So that probably won't last forever, but as much as I'm going to use it, I think it'll be alright. Looks like it'll take Allen keys to open it if you ever need it open, but I don't think you should. Enter, exit, up, down. It has a nice little tear off. KW310 is the model number. Let's go try it out. Okay, so this car has it right there. You see that port? That's what we're going to be plugging into. It does go in there directional. This port's a bit loose, so I'm gonna have to use my foot and push it that way, and it'll kick on. I got you kicked on before then. So I'm going to go ahead and push this button until it goes into the run position, because that's what this car does. Woo! Shut off the AC in this cold weather. I'm going to press enter. Hopefully you guys can see all what it's doing. Waiting for vehicle to respond. 
Erase previous stored data and save. No, I want to see the code. Codes found three. And there's your codes 07E8, 07E9. I'm going to go ahead and use my phone. Take a picture of the two codes. And then you just go look them up. Got a picture of them now. I'm go ahead and go back. Race codes, live data. Complete data. There's your RPMs. Everything's shut off right now. So it's not going to show me too much. The freeze frame. Radius monitor. O2 monitor test. Not supported, I guess. Component test, evap leak test. Oh, that'd be nice. Just says nothing. Vehicle info. Gives me a bunch of stuff. Race codes. Then you can look up the code and it'll tell you what it is. System setup, language, unit of measure. It's on English. Tool information. I hope you guys can see all that. There's like this glare. Let's go ahead and go in there and erase all of it. Three codes found. Erase codes. Done. Press any key to con. Now let's read the codes. No pending. No stored. Let's see what it does when it starts. There's nothing pending. Car is running. Let's go clear back in. Diagnostic, read it again. One code found. Stored codes, pending codes, none. I'm going to erase it one more time. I don't quite understand why it said there was three codes. Erase failure. It's because the car's running. Now you can go in here and look at the uh, live data. It'll have a lot more stuff on it. sensor rpms at 95.1 o2 voltage on the o2 voltage on that one i'm probably going too fast for you guys Just clicking random crap now. Stuff I know. Just want to see what it's saying. Misfire. Oh, cool. No misfires detected. If you see a cylinder that has a lot of misfires. Uh, you probably have bad spark plug or low compression in that cylinder. There we go. That's about all you can do with this. Let's go back and uh, scan it one more time. One code found.
and the check engine light is off. That's about it. Thanks. <laughs>